Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful show. You won't believe I made this show in one piece, even the edge. And all the details that you can see, I made it at the same time. So everything is made in just one piece. This. So I hope that you all make it. I think that it will be perfect for this coming Mother's Day because if you are thinking to give a gift, I think it's very good that you make something that is size, so you don't have the problem to um, probably it won't fit to the person or no. So you like this, you will make sure that the person will be happy and it will perfectly fit to her. So I hope that you will make it for this beautiful celebration and please if you do, uh, take a picture and tag me. So let's start and please subscribe, it's completely free. Well, we are going to start making first a long strip of chains according to the long of the shawl that we want. In this case, for this shawl, we are going to need 400 grams of this material that is between fine and light material. I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. In this case I will make 200 chains, I think that this number is for a standard size but it will depend on you if you want it like short, I mean not that long, okay? So you will see, so I will start making first 200 chains, please make sure that you make these chains not too tight, okay? A little bit loose. Okay, so here we finished 200 chains, I love this stitch because as I was telling you since the beginning, we are going to make a triangle show and we are going to make the edge and the rest of the stitch in just one piece. So I love this technique and I think that this technique will be useful for other projects that you may have in mind. So for example, well after the 200 chains, we are going to make 15 chains more, okay? So here we have four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 chains. We are going to make them a little bit loose, remember. So now we'll then 3 more chains after the 15, then yarn over and in the number 4th we are going to insert the hook and right there we are going to start making double crochet in the same place. So here we have two, then three, as you could see I'm making this double crochet out of three crochet, and four. Then take your hook out, we are going to put this finger behind, we are going to put the hook right where we made the first double crochet, and we are going to slip one to close. As you could see here with this finger that I have behind, I pull and I pop the popcorn then one chain to close and then we are going to insert the hook right where we started all the double crochet and a slip one and here we have the first popcorn you see then we are going to come back and we are going to a slip one in each chain okay like this to create a round cord okay so we are going to a slip one 15 times so see you at the end, one by one, please go in order. So here like we, we continue, I slip in one, here we have five, then six. I always suggest that you please always insert your hook in the same place, always taking both parts of the chain. This will also make the difference and you will make sure that you take all the stitches the same and at the end we'll have a better ending. All these small details counts to have a beautiful project. And here we have 15. Okay, so look, this will be the, the fringes that we will have at the end. Okay, this will be the end and this will be the edge all around our shawl. Well, our, after this 15, we are going to make 6 half double crochet. And also we will go in order, so we will take all of them together at the same 
them. You see, we turn over, insert your hook, and bring all of them together. So like this, we are going to make six half double crochet. Four, five, and six. And we are going to make again this popcorn that we made here. So right here we will go up with three chains and here we will like lean the hook, we will insert the hook and make right there at the same place four double crochet. So here we have three, four, then we are going to take the hook out, we are going to insert the hook right in the top of the first double crochet and we are going to push with our finger and make one chain to close and here we have the popcorn then two, three chains and we are going to come back to where we made the join of the chain and make one, slip one to close so here we will make sure that we join the popcorn you see again we are going to repeat this and well the edge will always have six half double crochet but the rest in the rest we are going to make nine half double crochet so here we have two then three four five six seven, eight, and nine. And then here we are going to make again the popcorn. So we will go up with three chains. And then we will come back where we started to make these chains and we are going to make four double crochet right there. Okay, and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Have, uh, sorry, nine half double crochet, then the popcorn. Nine half double crochet, and then the popcorn, and then we will finish the row with six half double crochet for the edge. And see you there. Okay, remember here at the end we are going to finish to make the popcorn with three chains, and we are going to slip one to close so it's pretty important like this is how we are going to continue the whole row okay well here I finish with the exact stitches how lucky right <laughs> so I finish with six half double crochet then here we are going to make again the edge so from here we will start counting 15 chains here we have three you have two and remember that we are going to make the edge while we make the shawl. So here we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 chains. Then 3 more chains. We will come back and in the 4th chain right there we are going to make 4 double crochet. This 4 double crochet will be out of 3 crochet. You see? one, two and three and we are going to repeat, we are going to um, take the hook out insert the hook right at the beginning and close, to, close it with the last loop push using your finger then make one chain to close, close three chains more and no, we are going to make three chains only here where we are in the stitch but for the edge no we are just going to make one chain to close and then a slip one if you want you can make it with three chains too you just have to see which uh, popcorn you like it the most then we are going to come back a slipping one in each chain remember that here we made 15 so we are going to slip one 15 times to have a round cord again look this is how we are going to slip one to close take one and take all of them at the same time with the same loop you see so like this we are going to count until we have until we finish with the 15 chains 
So here, please make sure that you don't confuse. Remember that here we will have the thread that, that we started. We will have it as a reference so we can see which is the bottom and which is the top. If you want, you can put a marker right there. So, well, we are going to make a single crochet in the first stitch to start. Yes, to start here with the first row. Sorry, a half double crochet. So here we have one and then from here we are going to start making 14, 14 chains. We are going to make them a little bit loose and we will use these 14 chains as a base for the next row. You will see. So here we have 14, then we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, let me see, and in the fifth we are going to make a single crochet, ah no. Sorry, we are going to make one in the number four, one half double crochet, and next to it a second half double crochet. You see, so we are going to make two right in the middle. Then again, 14 chains, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Then we will jump again, and again in the number four. We will make a half double crochet and in the number fifth a half double crochet. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Well, so here we finished. And we are going to finish with one half double crochet. So now turn it around and then right away inside of these 14 chains we are going to make 14 half double crochet. So here we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 half double crochet. Okay, right here, 14. And then right here in this join of the in between these two half double crochet that we made, remember, we are going to make well, uh, sorry, we are going to slip one. And then right here we will go up with three chains and we are going to make a popcorn. So inside we are going to make four double crochet. So here we have two, three. And then we are going to take the hook out and we are going to, right here, slip one to close. We are going to push with the finger behind, make one chain to close and then three chains more. We are going to insert the hook right where we started to make the popcorn and we are going to slip one. Then again we are going to repeat 14 half double crochet then the popcorn and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. So remember right here inside 14 half double crochet and then the popcorn. Let's continue. Well so here we finish the row. Okay we did continue 14 half double crochet and the popcorn. Then we are going to slip one to close, then turn around and we are going to slip one right here until the middle. Remember that the half of 14 is 7, so we are going to slip one 7. So here we have 1, then 2. Remember to always insert the hook the same and taking both parts of the chain. 5, 6 and 7, right here. Then Right here in this half, we are going to make this fringe, okay? We are, uh, we are going to make 15 chains, remember, to relax and to make them a little bit loose. Then after these 15 chains, we are going to make one, two, three chains more. We are going to come back and in the fourth, we are going to make right there four double crochet. So here we have two three and four then we are going to insert or 
finger in the back push and we are going to push we are going to join the first loop with the last one and we are going to bring them through then one chain to close plus three more chains to join with the chains that we made here slip one and then well here you will decide if you just want to slip one or if you are going to make this extra three chains to make like the popcorns longer you will decide which uh, way you like the most then we are going to continue to make this cord round we are going to slip one in each chain in each 15 chains well actually we are going to count to have 14 because the first one we will use it to uh, join the popcorn with the rest of the chain so actually we are going to count 14 chains okay remember to go in order and we are going to make this to have like a round cord and it will give give a different like effect right so once we finished but well now that we are here i want to invite all of you to subscribe to my channel remember that it's completely free and i try to put at least two videos each week so i hope that you will watch them and with the time i have improved my english but also please help me <laughs> well then we are going to count and make 14 chains so here we have 14 and then we are going to count and jump until the next arch we will count two three four five six and seven right there we are going to insert the hook and make two half double crochet one in each space you see right here in the top and over the last popcorn that we made then again we are going to make 14 chains 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 and again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 half double crochet in the 7 and in the 8th then from there we are going to make 14 chains and we will repeat but well look here I wanted to show you that I did make just a sample with 30 chains because I already get ahead and I will show you and I will count how many arches did I have with 200 chains as you could see at the beginning here I have three arches then I will have two and then I will finish with only one but I will count how many do I have with 200 chains and well now that we are here I want to show you this is the wrong side because we have like the popcorns pushed to the front and this is the right side okay so so just for you to know so here we are going to finish we are going to make them 15 chains and we are going to make the fringe with the popcorn then we are going to come back and make the 14 half double crochet with the popcorn and well we are going to continue with the 200 chains we are going to have more arches in the base and then we are going to stop until we only have one arch at the end okay remember that while we make this we are going to make the fringes with the popcorn so 14 chains then 14 half double crochet with the popcorns and we are going to repeat this series and also please never forget to make the fringes with the popcorn to make the edge while we crochet the rest of the stitch well look here i have the show with 200 chains as you could see while i continue i make the fringes with the popcorn i already take the centimeters and approximately i have 145 centimeters or 150 centimeters okay more or less then i will count how many arches do i have one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and twenty one and twenty two so then in the next row i have twenty one then 20, 19 and like this I'm going to continue until I have only one arch left and we are going to continue in triangle 
and well as you could see also while we make this stitch we made the popcorns and we decorate so i think that this spray gets perfect for a gift as i was telling you for this coming mother's day but also if you crochet and sell i think that this idea is perfect to start your own business because it's so easy simple and once you learn how to make this stitch you will see that you will continue uh, just by yourself without notice and also uh, it's perfect for any size so I think that a shawl is unisize so it's perfect too because you don't worry if the person will fit this beautiful product or no but well let's continue until we finish to have only one arch at the end okay well look here finish I have only one arch and as you could see I did continue making the fringes while I make the stitch so now that here I finished with the last arch we are going to slip only seven just a half sorry we are going to make just a seven half double crochet so here we have four five six and seven then right here we are going to make the last fringe so we will go up with 15 chains and then we will go up with three chains we are going to come back and in the fourth we are going to make right there the fourth double crochet together to make this popcorn three remember that we are going to make this double crochet out of three crochet okay and then we are going to put the finger in the back to push and we are going to take the first loop and we will join with the last one we are going to slip one then one uh, we are going to make one chain to close and if you want to make three extra chains or just a slip one right away remember that we are going to come back we are going to slip one in these coming chains remember that we already took the first chain so we are going to slip one only 14 times and with this I think that we finished but well I do want to finish with you so you can see exactly how it is and also uh, we can finish together in case there are, there are doubts or so please let me know in the comments I always try to answer back as soon as I can thank you so much for your patience remember that I also have Instagram and Facebook so I would like to see you there too so here we almost finish we are going to make the next seven half double crochet here to finish this last arch and let's see and as i was telling you i tried to improve my english and maybe in the first videos it was hard to understand or i tried to speak faster but well with the time i have practiced more <laughs> well and here at the end we are going to slip one to close and cut this last, this last thread and well at the end we are just going to hide all these threads that we may have with them ready and needle we won't iron this project because if not it will lose its puffiness if you want you can extend it somewhere and leave it there so by itself um, it will take its shape okay but this is ready to wear just extend it and it's perfect okay be careful to hide all the threads that you may have and I hope that you make it. Now let's see how it looks. Well, thank you so much for watching my video until the end of the video. I enjoy sharing this idea with you. I hope that you find it easy and simple. And if you are going to celebrate Mother's Day, I think that this idea will be perfect for you to wear it or to give it as a gift. But well, if you are in United States and if you would like to buy one of the products that I crochet, you can buy one of the garments that I make here. Just send me an email to this email address and I will let you know all the info and the prices too. 
thank you so much for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe, to give me a like and stay tuned for more coming projects. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Have a nice day.